The Kalamazoo Public Library is a city staple that offers a wide variety of resources, activities, and events to the community. Kayla L. tells us how they create programs that serve everyone, and we get hands-on for Halloween with Pat Harrison, the Lord of the Gourd. So I'm here with the Lord of the Gourd. <laughs> nice to meet you, Lord it's of the Gourd. It's very nice to meet you, too. So uh, tell me what you're doing. First of all, where do you get the ideas, like for some of these faces? Where do they come from? Honestly, most of it comes from the pumpkin itself, because when I'm carving, I usually don't do your regular orange jack-o'-lantern. I look for shapes. Right. It's the shape that inspires me, like this one I'm working on right now. I saw it had a flat side, so I knew it would stand like that, and it had this wonderful stem. So I decided to use the stem for a nose. I love that idea. <laughs> yeah, so I rarely ever do your regular pumpkin. They just, they don't talk to me like these do. And do you enjoy eating them once you carve them? <laughs> that would be like cannibalism. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the children's room. Let's start there. The children's room is so exciting. It's bright, it's colorful. There are books everywhere, there are toys everywhere, but everything is organized and everything is easily accessible and the children just love it. I bet they do. When a family comes in looking for a particular kind of stimulation from a book, how do you kind of discern what it is that they need where you can steer them in the right direction? Usually it's because the variety of materials that are available is unknown to the average patron that comes in. Right. They're amazed when we tell them what's actually available. Um, in the children's area downstairs, one of our rooms is, has Alice in Wonderland uh, scenery painted yeah. all throughout the room. So you can have a small child that comes in who never heard Alice in Wonderland right. or who has never listened to that story or seen the movie. And they'll look at this artwork on the wall and they're thinking, wow, look at this, this is amazing. And then mom or dad or the librarian can say, well, you know, this artwork came from the book Alice in Wonderland. Have you ever read the book Alice in Wonderland? Yeah. and we can take them to the shelf and give them that book and it's just amazing to see how art in a book can come to life. I was gonna say it brings it to life. You read something, uh, I mean you can travel somewhere in your mind. Exactly and then you might come back in the fall or the spring or the summer and see an actual production of Alice in Wonderland. So that's one of the best things about the library is we can present this information, this art, this literature in any kind of format that we want to in print, in music, in acting, in art. Wow. It's great. So what are you going to show me? I'm going to try to okay. uh, try my hand at this. I am going to. And but you, 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 you said don't like mess it up because you worked really hard on well, this. Well, so. <laughs> I don't think you can mess this up. I have never <laughs> let anyone else touch my knives ever. So this <laughs> is the first, people. <laughs> okay. What I'm going to have you do is carve a tooth. And I'm going to do one and show you how I do it. Okay. So, Doing teeth is really, really simple. It's just a couple simple cuts. All I'm doing is a downward cut, right. like so. Right. And then the second cut is you just angle it along the cut line, and the piece pops right out. Oh, yeah. And then I'll go back that way, and I'll do it. And so that was just three little cuts, and we have a tooth. Yeah, and the thing is, is, is you have a lot of programs that kind of connect to the arts, which is yes. which is really important because kids love to have those kind of activities. What are some of those? Well, one of our long-standing programs is the Musical Storybooks, which is a partnership that we have with Kalamazoo Symphony Orchestra. They basically take a popular picture book and bring it to life with music with their string quartet. So we do that every spring, every fall, and this fall we're going to be looking at a new book, Last Stop on Market Street. So Oh, that's wow. going to be fun and they're going to introduce some new instruments as well. We also do programs with other community um, art organizations like the Bach Festival. Last spring they debuted Bach and Jammies at two of our branches and so they will be coming back. And the Fontana Chamber uh, series, wow. uh, we bring that into the library as well. So are you okay. ready to try this? I'm ready this? to try. I'm ready okay. to try. Okay, so you just hold it, right? Yep, just hold it and just do a first cut as a downward cut, just straight down. You're you doing went, beautiful. You went, you you did it easier than that, okay. Okay, now you do your sideways cut. I think uh, he's got a going. really big gap in between that too. That's but. all right, I'm a gap toother too. <laughs> I 
it's not coming out. <laughs> well, let's see here. Oh, you'll get it. Then try going straight down again and then angle it the other way. We this have, is way harder than it looks. We have pumpkin carnage going on. <laughs> there we here. go. Oh, there you go. You did it too. <laughs> See, it was that easy. Now, uh -huh. turn your blade sideways that way and round out that side. Over over well, here? Well, yeah, come at it from the other side like this, if you can. Here, like so. Yeah, let's see. This is what I would do, is just kind of round it like uh -huh. that. And then you just get your own shape. Tell you uh -huh. what, you did such a good job, I'm going to let you do another one, but I'll start <laughs> it for you. Okay. So, Kayla, can you share a little bit about the importance of the Kalamazoo Public Library just to the community as a whole? Well, you know, the public library is open access to all. You don't have to have a library card to come through the doors and utilize the services that we provide. And we have civic services that we provide to the community, like a law center. We have an Ask a Lawyer program where you can come in if you think you have some legal questions and get expert advice, and that's free. We also have uh, programs where we reach out to the community Say you're an artist and you need some place to display your art. Um, you can come to the library and you can say, I've created these pieces. We find a way to display your art. Many of our branches have galleries, like the Alma Powell branch has the Barnaby Gallery. And they're always letting local artists come in and display their artwork in a, in a format where they may not have that access, you know, with a gallery. So they can come into the library and do those things. So we keep in touch with our community by asking through surveys and just informal meetings, what are some of the, the needs and the services that you would like to see us provide? And then we provide those services. Is that why your programs are so versatile? Exactly, you know, we want to serve the interest of everyone. So we have STEM-based programs for the science kids and we have art programs for those who are artistic. And we have music programs for those kids that love music. You are now a professional pumpkin sculptor. You saw it here <laughs> first, folks. Beautiful job, not bad, not bad. You deserve the instrument. <laughs> well, here, okay, I'll take the weapon back. Well, Kayla, I wanted to thank you so much for talking with me and sharing all the exciting things that are happening at the Kalamazoo Public Library. Well, thank, thank you for you. having me. Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation, helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo.